In this week's episode, it's springtime in Oklahoma. I share some of my favorite social networks, and I let you know what happened to me last week. Sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. It's springtime in Oklahoma, that time of year of warm days and cold nights, and the wind is always blowing, that time of year when the land turns from a dreary khaki color to a vibrant green, that time of year when we need to mow the lawn for the first time and we don't because it just rained or the wind is blowing too hard and those weeds are just getting taller. That time of year when pollen is released into the air, watering eyes and tickling noses. That time of year we plant our gardens in the hopes of a bumper crop of tomatoes, okra, yellow squash, and watermelon. That time of year when children look out their classroom windows, counting the days until school's out for the summer. That time of year when we open up all the windows to give the house some much-needed fresh air. That time of year when we journey back outside like bears awakening from a long winter's hibernation to go play in the sunshine. Ah, springtime in Oklahoma. There's nothing like it. Speaking of springtime in Oklahoma, you know what that means. Time to watch the skies. If you've lived in Oklahoma for any amount of time, you know you should be weather aware. Some of the most violent tornadic storms have happened right here in Oklahoma during the month of May. If you haven't done so already, download a good weather app to your smartphone. I can recommend Weather Underground's app. It has a great radar on it. And also, I would encourage you to get the local TV stations weather and news apps. Channels 4, 5, and 9 in Oklahoma City and their sister stations in Tulsa have some great weather apps that push out alerts and will let you watch their live coverage right on your phone. Also, if you haven't done so yet, get a weather radio. Here in Oklahoma, that's probably just as important as having a smoke alarm. Get a weather radio. The National Weather Service will often push out alerts about bad weather before the TV stations do. So get a weather radio. They're not that expensive and they could save your life. And my last little recommendation is to have a bug out bag ready. It's a bag where you put in some emergency supplies, a change of clothes, um, spare phone charging cables, a few days worth of any medication you're taking, and uh, anything else you might need if you're going to be away from your home for any length of time. And keep this bag where you can get to it if you have to grab it to go to a shelter. I'm probably not telling you anything you don't already know, but it doesn't hurt to be reminded from time to time. Stay safe, everyone. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is to write about springtime in Oklahoma. I look forward to reading it. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the web ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Here are my top five favorite social networks. You'll find me on these practically every day. Number five, Snapchat. Number four, Mastodon. Number three, Instagram, number two, Google Plus, and the number one network that I am on most all day, every day, Twitter. I'll have a links to these and my profiles in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Sorry about missing an episode last week. Um, 
it really wasn't a fun time. <laughs> I had a bad case of acid reflux earlier that week, and it pretty well hurt. <laughs> Burnt my throat pretty good, I think. Um, a combination of that, um, the coughing fit it caused, and that I had a week's worth of meetings that I had to talk a lot in all week. Oh, I had never talked so much in my entire career, I think. Uh, my voice was just gone. <laughs> there was one night I came home and I was just a croaky whisper. Uh, so by the time Sunday come around to record the next episode, uh, my voice was just not there. And it kind of hurt to talk for long periods of time. Much better now. <laughs> doing doing much, much better now, as you can tell, because I'm doing the podcast. <laughs> I'm just really happy I could talk again. That was not fun. <laughs> Okay, in other news, um, I've shut down the Blog Oklahoma Telegram channel last week. Um, no one was really connecting with it. Um, I still like Telegram. Uh, we use it at the office every day. It's a great way to keep connected with coworkers, clients, and friends alike. Um, it's multi-platform, uh, so just about anybody can use it. So um, if you're interested, please check it out at telegram.org. I highly recommend it. Um, it just wasn't the right platform for sharing Blog Oklahoma things like we do at uh, Twitter. Um, it was fun, and I want to thank everyone who participated in it. So, on to other things. Did you know we have our own Cafe Press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There is now well over 21 hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of May 7th, 2017, Blog Oklahoma has 713 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hooray! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can hold to me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.